Hi guys, once again, welcome to my channel of software development and today I'm going to take up another, you know, debugging experience of mine. I have to share that experience and this is the error, runtime error that I have been getting with my current playlist for, you know, creating a web MVC client for consuming a ASP.NET Core 3.1 Web API project and what I have been finding that there has been a JSON error and that JSON error says so this is the JSON error I have been getting this is the stack trace and inner exception JSON reader exception so within single quotes end curly brace is invalid after a single JSON value expected end of data line number 38 so how do what made this error to happen how do i reproduce the error that's the question so i will show you soon now those of you who have so far followed my web api uh, with core mvc client this project where i am releasing uh, one every day one video every day from monday to friday you will understand that in my latest um, video i have actually shown you how to connect an external serilog package so this error happened after i have added this serilog file and if i click on iis express to run this application let's see what happens so you can see that you know the project is trying to run but in the process you know this error came uh, create host build it and the error came at a place which was non really non suggestive of where the origin of the error is so it is in the program file you know in the main entry method and it says that this json reader exception the error that i have shown you earlier is invalid after a single JSON value expected end of data. Now, the thing is, before that, this project has built successfully. It is only when it is running that this error occurred. So, let's uh, show you what I am saying. Control Shift B to build this project. So, build zero succeeded, uh, zero failed, one up to date. So, there is no build error. Okay. So, even if you rebuild this one, you can see what I mean that there is no failure in the building. The build succeeded, but it, it is a runtime failure. Now, let's come back to the error. So, it is still rebuilding. Just uh, let's wait for a second. So, you can see the rebuilder one succeeded. Okay. So, again, let's bring the error back by running the application. Now, JSON reader exception, okay. So, you would expect a JSON file to have been the culprit, you know, origin of error or the source of error. So, the only settings file that I can, only JSON file that I can think of is the app settings.json. So, probably this will be the source of the um, problem, error. So, what I did earlier when um, it was working, till this point you know, in the logging and uh, um, log level etc default etc where as per the um, set template when it was first created and then I commented this part out and then I um, put my uh, serilog integration uh, code in JSON. Now what I found after a couple of hours of brainstorming and tearing my hair off is that this was the culprit. So, if I remove this extra bracket, let's see what happens. And just, just stop the application and then we'll again click on the IIS Express to run this. Wow, the project runs successfully without any error to get the hello world on the screen. Now, this hello world, if you, uh, whether it is relevant or not, but let me tell you, it comes from the startup file. So, so far, I have not changed 
in this um, part of the middleware. So app dot use endpoints and endpoints dot map get and await this line of code context dot response dot write async hello world. So it writes to the response string the word hello world. So I mean this is the end of this debugging um, tutorial. Hope it has helped you and in future it, it can provide you some guidance to the, the this kind of error. So thank you very much for watching.